hello everyone so today we are going to understand that how we can use a plagiarism tool that is called turnitin so turnitin is a licensed uh, software and uh, it is uh, very much useful for the researchers uh, who want to publish their paper as well as uh, it is very good uh, tool to check the students assignments uh, if there is any plagiarism or not so let's see quickly and try to find out that how we can use it so you just have to uh, type turn it in in the google it will give you a window where you can so here is uh, we can click into to that particular link where it says log in to the turn it in so here we have to give the username and password this is uh, as i told you it is a licensed version of uh, the plagiarism test tool so you have to have a authenticated username and password maybe it is uh, given by your organization or maybe it is given by your institute so if i log in into what uh, i have the credential based on that so it will take you to this particular window this is the home window where we can view the institute name is coming and the assignments are there now here uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, understanding uh, what we can do is we can directly use any of these class uh, that i have created let's say i have created a class called rewrite work here you just click and uh, here we have a a a, a work that is called final year project okay now in this what you can do is you can go to the more action and you can submit the assignment whatever you want to check so let's say if i'll click here the submit uh, button so it will take you to this particular window where we can fill some of the required a uh, 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 text box so here the first name let's say i am giving my name uh, last name let's say i am giving my last name so you can enter anything here and let's say it is related to your submission okay so let's say i am putting the title of the paper which i want to uh, check here then uh, you can choose uh, the file from the from the computer or from the drop down or drop box or you can choose from the google drive so i'll choose from the computer itself because that particular file is there in my computer it is advisable to go for the pdf version of the of the paper whatever uh, research paper or whatever assignment you will uh, or uh, you will create you just uh, convert it into pdf so here uh, choose from computer you just click it here and then uh, i'll go to uh, where it is located so let's say it is in the research this is the pdf that i want to check you just open it and just upload so i am just taking a random uh, a random uh, paper and just i am putting for for your uh, understanding that how it is working so after uploading the pdf uh, it will ask you for the confirmation so now it is uploading the paper into that particular uh, turned in uh, cloud and you can see the details are there author uh, assignment title submission title file name is there the size of the file how many pages are there how many words and how many characters are there now we'll make it confirm now after the confirmation it will uh, go for checking the plagiarism so after the after when we last, uh, submit it will ask it will give us the submission id uh, when we have submitted and all those things has been added now the checking uh, it will take around uh, uh you can say around 1 to 2 minute based on the length of the paper and based on the the plagiarism 
so if it will find so many plagiarism in one paper it took time but if uh, the plagiarism it will find is very less so definitely it will give a result in very quick way so to submit another file you can just click here if you want to submit other file otherwise you can go to the assignment inbox so when we click onto the assignment inbox it will uh, show me that uh, the title of the paper that we have submitted author and here uh, the grade grade is depend upon your your user okay and uh, the paper id and when we have done that so all those details are there just wait for a one or two minute to get the result now as you can see the similarity report has come and it is saying around 97 percent and it is making it in a red it means that this particular uh, paper which has already been there and uh, this particular paper has the similarity report this so this is a random paper as i told you i have picked up and it is showing the uh, the plagiarism is 97%. What you do is you just click it here and it will take you to a separate page where you can see that uh, what are the different sources uh, and what are the different uh, the, the sentences which are being uh, used in other people, right? So here you will see uh, the right hand side part, you can find many things. Uh, one thing that you have to remember, uh, put is here is 97, you just click it here. So it will show you the source. So as you can see, it has this particular paper has already been published in one particular paper and it is showing around 97% plagiarism of that particular paper which has already been published. And you can see that the source that is there is, it is showing one, one to all those, those papers, right? And if you'll just click here, it will show the detail of that particular paper, which has already been published. Okay. So this is a way how we can do that. Next thing is if you want to download, okay. Uh, and at very last, you'll find out the, the plagiarism report. It is just showing you that what are the thing which has been already uh, published. So it is here, as you can see, right. So all the details are, are here. If you want to download the, what you are looking here is, so this particular button is for the download. This is showing the download. And in the download, when you click, you will find out that what are the ways you can download. So current view, uh, digital uh, received original submitted file. So we want the current view, right? So that we can, uh, if small plagiarism are there with our paper, we can, do it rewrite so just go to the current uh, view then it will prepare for download it will look like this okay where uh, the highlighted version of the sentences are already been uh, copied from some sources so source is one right as you can see it is from one page and it is showing the similarity index it is 91 and the paper that has been uh, used, uh, already used uh, for that particular uh, text. So some work which has not been published. So what I told you is in the home, you just uh, go to any of the class. In the class, the assignment is there. So this is the assignment name. Go, go to the more uh, action and just click on to the submit button. In the submit button, again, you can just put uh, all the detail right, the paper name and just choose a file that you want to uh, want to check for the plagiarism. So let's see, I'll check for other paper which has not been uh, published. Okay. So let's say it is uploaded, uploading right now. Now, after the uploading, you just make uh, the confirmation here. Yeah, we just make it a confirmation. Now it is confirming and just go to the assignment inbox. Now here you can see the similarity is uh, not much. It is 21%. 
still you can reduce uh, the uh, the similarity uh, it depend upon so it is now 21% as you can see the source one is having some uh, percentage and then small small percentage from other sources so as you can see all these sources are there and it is showing that in one sources what is the plagiarism and total plagiarism is 21% so you can just uh, click it here uh, to download uh, the current view. Uh, after downloading the current view, you can see that in, in which particular paper the, the highlighted, actually the highlighted uh, uh, the phrases and the sentences are actually uh, taken from the, or it is similar to other sources, right? So you can reduce the plagiarism in that particular page. Right, so uh, still you can download the current view and the current view will be downloaded based on that. You can repeat this particular process so that you can reduce the plagiarism. So it is advisable to keep the plagiarism less than 20% and individual plag plagiarism less than uh, 1% or less than 2%, right? So it depends upon different uh, generals to or different conferences to conferences, but it is, advisable to take that particular thing in a data from the sources which you haven't authorized authorized to take right so it is better to reduce the plagiarism and then only send this to the any of the journals so as you can see the similarity percentage is 21 percent and it's showing that individual paper how much percentage it has right so that's all. I hope this particular video is uh, helpful for you to uh, reduce the plagiarism and to improve your research work.